Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar, and I was uh, taking a look online, and I saw that Star Citizen had finally uh, released the dog fighting module, which is called Arena Commander. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to go ahead and play it. Also, get a chance to be able to post it for you guys and everything. So um, this is like pre-alpha; like they're not even actually done with the or with Arena Commander. So, uh, you guys will kind of see a little bit here once I get into my fighter. The the 300i, now I got the 325 actually in the hangar. That was the one that I purchased, but apparently you can't fly that one yet. So, when uh, you pick up your helmet as you walk in and you get into the cockpit, you can go ahead and you can choose between um, whether or not you kind of want to fly with a whole bunch of people, which they haven't released that yet, or if you're just flying against... Uh, drones here now there's a couple maps you can choose you can do like a free flight or you can do what's uh, called the vandal swarm and the swarm it's just like you've got an unlimited amount of uh, waves of enemy coming at you so you got a couple uh, wingmen here they'll, they'll kind of be down here so I mean I did a little bit on the free uh, free flight just to kind of get an idea uh, this is my favorite of the two maps so uh, I'll, I don't know. I might play uh, the other one a little bit here, too. I just kind of had a, a few problems when uh, I was doing the other one because it's a lot darker as far as, like, color scheme goes, I thought. So it was kind of difficult to be able to see where uh, asteroids were and stuff like that. So now I am playing this on a 360 controller. Uh, I kind of figure that's probably going to be a little bit better than keyboard and mouse, but there is still a lot of instances where you're going to have to use the keyboard. So, like, you have to eject or, um, I, you know, kind of go with targeting. You got more options there. Scan so, yeah, I mean, if uh, if you guys have this already, like you guys pledged for the game, I mean, if alert. you guys didn't know, it is available for download uh, and for you guys to play. Uh, if you haven't uh, been able to purchase anything yet for this game, I mean, I'm super excited about uh, Star Citizen and what it's going to do. Because uh, Chris Roberts, the guy who is making this game or who is in charge of this, he made the Wing Commander series. And I grew up playing Wing Commander. Contact. Like, on the Super Nintendo, everything. Uh, they even made a movie, which was really, really bad. But anyway... So there's going to be like a lot of different elements to this game. Like it's not just going to be space combat. Uh, there is going to be a lot with, uh, you know, FPS, things like that, which of course they'll be releasing down the road. Now the game has, uh, I mean, it has been completely funded. Well, I shouldn't say completely because I'm sure they've gotten some other revenue at some other places, but it has been heavily funded uh, through crowdsourcing. We just hit $45 million. And they're, I mean, this is not just the game, okay? So uh, they're going to have, like, a campaign, which is called Squadron 42, which is basically, like, another Wing Commander type of thing. And I always thought it was cool. Squadron 42, Jackie Robinson. I actually, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but anyway. Um, and then there's going to be uh, what they call the Persistent Universe, which is basically, like, you are a star citizen and everything, or you're a citizen in this universe, and you can kind of do a lot of different things. So that'll be kind of interesting. I mean, it's basically an MMO. So apparently if you go through, like, Squadron 42, you play all of that. Like, you get some bonuses in the Persistent Universe and stuff like that. So, I mean, as far as controls go with this, I mean, it is pretty straightforward. If you've ever gone ahead and played, like, a, a flying game before in you know any other type of game you should be able to go ahead and pick things right up now uh, because this is a space game one of the things that I really do enjoy is physics is a lot uh, or is very integral to the whole uh, whole way you play this game and just kind of the overall design because in a lot of space games I mean the way that you fly it's very similar to how you fly in in like uh, like just any type of airplane game so uh, with space, that's definitely not the case. So one of the things that you can do, and I really don't get a chance to be able to feature it here while I'm doing this, it, or you guys won't be able to tell the difference really that I'm doing it, 
is uh, well if you guys have ever seen like Battlestar Galactica like how they'll be flying in a straight line but then they'll turn their ship around but inertia will keep going them in one uh, in one direction you can actually do that in here and you can do a little bit with um, with like strafing and stuff like that which I haven't been able to see necessarily too much of a combat benefit to be able to do the strafing now there has been actually quite a bit with uh, being able to like use my inertia to go in one direction but just use my thrusters to, to change my orientation so that's been kind of helpful and one of the things that I found too that's that's important is the use of the afterburner because as you go ahead and turn your momentum's of course taking you with that turn and if you use the afterburner go in one direction a lot a lot quicker so as we go through these different waves too, I mean, we're going up against a couple of different classes, like uh, going up against the scavenger right here. There's a hunter that is a little bit tougher. Now this is me locking on with my missiles here, but I'm not gonna go ahead and use them. But uh, yeah, so uh, different classes, hunters are a lot tougher. They're considered the elite units and yeah. There's a few other ones here, so it increases in difficulty not just necessarily with the amount of enemy that you face but their uh, overall skill and How much damage they can hit now? I don't want to go into this little fiery thing that's shooting down I can imagine if I do uh, It's probably not a good thing now there. You can kind of see the physics a little bit Being a huge part of, of this here, but overall. Yeah, I mean it's hasn't been bad at all I mean I already I can see a few things that I know they're gonna be working on like if you uh, look at the way that um, my my character holds the joystick or, or kind of turns the, the steering wheel at different points and that's something that I know they're working on and a few other things too so you've got to remember this is pre alpha and this is still pretty good um, there has of course been some delays with the game, but you know with every single delay that they've come out with like I've been able to understand exactly why uh, They've delayed something uh, Because since this is an independent company, I mean they're not held to Standards as some other companies that are out there. They don't have to put anything out at a particular time frame only when they feel that it's ready Man, I got a Good long-distance shot on that one um so, yeah, I mean, uh, I think this is definitely worth the wait. I understood that there were some problems. And even when they went ahead and they were showing this off uh, earlier, there were definitely some problems as well. Oh, I forgot I was in the mode where I can use my inertia here. But, yeah, eventually they're going to come out with uh, different modes like you can go ahead and play against other people like right now it is just only bots as I mentioned at the beginning so uh, I kind of do want to test my luck a little bit against uh, people just see how well I do I don't think I'm gonna be too hot or anything like that but at the same time I mean you kind of never know um, I do plan of course when the 325 uh, I comes out I mean that's or 325a I think is the name of the the craft that I got um, can't wait for that because it, there's different ships that you can purchase when you're pledging uh, Hornet tends to be one of the most popular ones in fact that's what my wingmen are using right now uh, is a craft called the Hornet so that one's kind of like a, a military type one which apparently packs a pretty good punch and then the ship that I'm flying which you can see you know kind of in the top left um, a little hologram of it or in the whatever is in the the HUD, I don't know if it's a hologram, but uh, anyway, this is kind of more designed for speed. So I don't know when I was kind of thinking what I would want to to purchase here. I was kind of thinking like old uh, BF 109s, like the hit and run strategy. So this, um, so I mean, I I don't know how that's going to to play against actual people. Apparently. One of the reasons why they're kind of doing this so early is uh, for balancing purposes. And of course, that's something they're going to tweak later on. Kind of make it a little bit better for everybody. So I know Aurora is another craft that you can fly. So, dang it. 
I miss him and I'm being shot at right now. This is not good. So you can tell these guys are a lot, lot tougher here. Now, with every wave that comes out where there's like a hunter or some type of elite unit, like I'm the guy who's gonna go after them. Just because I know they can do a lot of damage. They take a lot of damage as well. But I probably should actually, I mean, now that I think about it, I probably should be going after the scavengers first because those are the easy kills. I mean, if I can go ahead and I can take out the easy kills, then we can all gang up on some of these tougher guys. So I might change that strategy a little bit later on. Okay, so he's on the other side of this. So I'm just going to go through, see if I can get a good angle on him. I was kind of debating on... Let's see, oh, that's not too bad to show you guys the physics a little bit. I was kind of thinking maybe trying to go inside that other panel, but decided against it. Good thing is I got a pretty good jump here on this scavenger. Now, uh, as I was playing this too, uh, I didn't get a chance to be able to finish this round, and this is the best one that I, I had. But I didn't get to finish it because the game ended up crashing. So. I mean, if you guys do get this or you do start to play it, I mean, remember, there are going to be bugs. And it's not saying that this is a bad game. This is just what happens when you're in a, a pre-alpha build. But overall, I'm very impressed. I mean, heck, I would pay, um, you know, money just to be able to ha to do this. I mean, you guys can see it's pretty uh, beautiful. And I mean, I'm not even playing on the top settings right now, too. Uh, it is very, very... Um, I don't know, there's a lot that you have to have on your computer to really be able to run this with high clarity. So, mad props to anybody who's got the computer to be able to do that. I mean, my computer's now about three years old, and uh, it's it's having a hard time being able to, to run this game at, at high speeds. Frame rate is definitely a problem. So, I am going ahead and I'm, I'm putting it on a little bit of a lower overall quality just so I can get some decent frame rate with all of this. Because uh, if you ever play like a flight game and you've got poor frame rate, believe me, it's it's bad. I mean, you really can't play any, you know, play the game at all because so much changes and you have to adjust it quite a bit. So, um, oh, I did want to thank you guys too. I mean, I know this is the only video going up this weekend, but uh, I kind of mentioned this in another video that I'm really working hard on getting all prepped up for a job interview that I have on Tuesday. So, I mean, I've had to, like, put a packet together of all these things that I've done and, you know, really kind of formulate uh, everything towards towards the job, which is a lot different than anything um, that I've ever had to apply for before. So, oh, I didn't get anybody out of that one. Dang it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, all my time and attention has really been put to that. I mean, even here, I probably played uh, Arena Commander for about an hour. And that was it. So, wow, for being an elite unit, that guy, that guy was easy. Oh man, I'm like right in the middle of this now. This is not good. So, my ship's been hit. And one of the cool things about this too um, is like damage. There's like a lot of different hit points that. Uh, I'm dead. Well, you get a few lives in this. So even though that that's my first death, I can respawn here. Um, but yeah, there's different like hit points on your your craft. So if you get hit in a certain location, it'll only affect like that particular subsystem. And so there's some where I've been uh, running around with out like a, a wing. I think it was like my right wing or something like that. I was without. But this will be kind of nice. I mean, now respawning, I can, you know, I've got everything back. Systems are 100%. And no damage at all. All right. So we can finish off this wave and head on to the next one. But uh, like I mentioned, I mean, this is something that does uh, go on for quite a bit longer before the game ends up freezing. But I think this does give you guys a good chance to be able to take a look at the game and kind of see what Arena Commander is all about. Like, uh, I do plan on playing this actually quite a bit 
Like, this is the type of game that I've always wanted to be able to play. Um, Chris Roberts' vision, I mean, it really matches a lot of what I've wanted to see out of a game. So, um, uh, this honestly for me is, is going to be a blast. So, anyway, that's going to be it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. More of Star Citizen to come later on. So, make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. But you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thanks again for watching, you guys. And as always, I hope you have a good one.